Modgician here, making Minecraft modding as easy as possible, and today we'll be running through the installation for Minecraft Forge on Minecraft 1.3.2. Now, very quickly, I'll run through installing Forge automatically with the brand new Magician application for those that have it, and then I'll run through the manual installation method for those who do not. So... For the automatic version, open Modgician and log in once it opens to the main screen. In the Categories section, click on Core, then look down in the list for Forge. Click on the Download and Import button where it gives you the link for the latest version of Forge for the version of Minecraft that you are running. This mod developer uses an AdFly link for this one, so wait five seconds, then click this link here. Now, I'll download it to the desktop, Mod Downloads 1.3.2. I'll then close this window, and we're back at Modgician. Click on the Import button, and it will check the file to make sure it's the correct one. There. Now, it's happy with that, so I'll tick the box here, click Install Selected Mods, then click Confirm. The mod is now being installed. Then we get this confirmation here. So we can now open Minecraft, open a world, and check that it works okay. Yeah, cool. All looks good. And now... On to the manual installation method. So starting on the Modgician homepage, if you don't have a login for Modgician yet, just create a free account. But assuming that you do, you click on the mod selector and go to core as this is a core mod. Then we'll scroll down until we find Minecraft Forge and then click on that link there. So on the mod info tab on the Forge page, we'll scroll down past the creator's credits and links to the mod website and forum page and all that sort of thing and have a quick look at the dependent on and conflicts with. Unless you're running older versions of Minecraft, Forge doesn't depend on any other mods. Isn't that cool? However, Forge does conflict with Mod Loader, but as long as you install Forge after Mod Loader, you shouldn't have any trouble. So, we'll scroll up and click on the Download and Installation tab, and we need to take notice of these warnings here. First, you have to make sure you are not running Minecraft when installing this mod. Also, this tutorial assumes you have followed all the instructions in the Toolkit section of the Modgician website. If you haven't done that yet, you want to go and do that now, but assuming you have, we shall move on. Now, step one, of course, is to download the mod itself. Now, you have to make sure, as it says in one of the warnings up there, that your download downloading the right version of the mod for the version of Minecraft you're using. I currently have Minecraft 1.3.2, so I'll click on that one there. Now this one takes you to an AdFly page where you have to wait for five seconds and then click on this link here. Now I've got mine set to ask me where I want to save my file. If you don't, it will normally go straight to your downloads folder, but we actually want it to go to your desktop. Mod Downloads 1.3.2. So we hit Save, and that will suck it down right in there. Now we'll minimize this, and on our desktop, we'll go to the Mod Downloads folder. Open that up, click on 1.3.2, and there's the file we've just downloaded. So we'll right-click on it, select 7-zip, and then Open Archive. We'll drag that over to the right, then close down that window, because we're finished with that. And now we go to the dot .minecraft shortcut that you placed on your desktop from the toolkit section. So, open that, double-click on the bin folder, should be right at the top there, then look for minecraft.jar, right-click, and 7-zip, and open archive. There we are, put that one on the left there. So, on the right, we've got the file we just downloaded, and on the left, there's the minecraft.jar. So we want to select everything in this right-hand window, you can either click and drag or hit Control a which is your keyboard shortcut to select everything, and then drag everything in over to the left-hand window when it asks. If you're sure you want to copy the files, just click YES! There they go, over now. So, now we shut down this right-hand window, and as it says on the website, the final step is to find and delete meta-inf if it exists. It might not be there, but if it is, just click on it once, then press delete on your keyboard, then click OK. Then we can close down this window. Now we're ready to test Minecraft and see if the installation works. So we open Minecraft and log in, and once we're past the Mojang screen, we know everything's probably working okay, but to make sure, we'll open a single player world and go in to check that it's all cool. And there we go. It looks like everything is running fine. So that's it for the manual method, assuming 
you have followed all the steps in this tutorial properly, you now have Forge successfully installed into Minecraft. We hope that you have found this video useful. Feel free to come back to Modgician.com anytime you want more mods for your version of Minecraft. And until then, good luck and good gaming.